it's Christmas, if you can't fucking tell. <laughs> What's up, bitches? <laughs> so, welcome back to Bitches and Pajamas. Bitches in Pajamas. What's, what was that? Okay, I... She doesn't know the name of her own podcast. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> you know. Good job, Emily. You know, and I, <laughs> I type that a lot too. Which is and pajamas? Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with you. It's, By the way, if you can't tell, it's Christmas. I already said it was Christmas. Yeah, well, and I'll, I'll say it better. And uh, if <laughs> you are watching, I made this mug when I was young for my birthday. We have mugs and teas, so ready for the sip audio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was a very loud sip. So they could hear <laughs> ASMR, duh. Okay. This is getting all of this the is trends. This now just an ASMR video. Oh my god, we should make a whole podcast about that. God, I hate ASMR. I hate it too, but it'd be fun to make one. Ugh. <laughs> um, anyway, what are we talking about today? Top 10 Christmas movies. Like how you answered your own question. <laughs> I talk to myself every day. <laughs> Me too, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, we are doing our top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Yeah. So, which is actually really hard it to was do. Re- for me, like, I love a lot of Christmas movies, but, like, I don't normally fully rank them. Yeah, it's hard to rank them, because I like them for very different reasons. Like, and then, there's certain ones that are, they're movies, but they take place on Christmas, so they're not, they're, te- they're I call them Christmas movies, yeah. but they're not technically. And then there's the classic Christmas movies, and then there's the funny Christmas movies, and you know. Yeah, and like, for <laughs> me, I'm just like a mood person. Like, I'll look exactly. at a movie and be like, I'm in the mood for this. And like, Precisely. honestly, like, I was trying to think of Christmas movies, and I was like, what even is a, like, there's a lot. Have I, I actually, ever I, seen I have, a Christmas movie? I have one on my on my list that's definitely one of the ones that I that I count to be like it's a movie that takes place on Christmas rather mm-hmm. than a Christmas movie. But I did put it on my list because I counted it. As that's fine. Also, so. <laughs> um, I don't know if you we have fun papers with our answers, um, cheat sheets. Um, I don't know if you actually ranked them. I did not rank them. I did actually. I you just started kind of did some to of your, some of your favorites. Okay. Oh, maybe I did rank a little bit. Well, then we can just we can just alternate between like movies that we like and and if, if we like one that the other person likes, we'll yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll um, talk do about we that. start with our? Because I do actually have a number one favorite Christmas I movie, have, and I did rank I it. I know actually. My, my top four are definitely sorry. Top five are definitely ranked. Yeah, the others are honestly, kind of debatable, but honestly, same though. Mm, my top six are uh, yeah. Nah. As I say, after six is where it's like I could alternate them, or like some of them kind of come together. Yeah, but see, I think my first one is definitely ranked, and okay. then like my next well, then, how five. About, let's start from the bottom because I feel like the top ones maybe we can discuss. Well, okay, eh, yeah, we can start from the bottom. I also only I did a nine. We're gonna run into my my top one is probably gonna be run into yeah. <laughs> pretty pretty easily. <laughs> All right, well we'll start from the bottom. Cool. So what's yours? Uh, my bottom is actually Miracle on 34th Street. I've actually never seen it because I'm really? a shitty Christmas it's person. It's just it's just a classic. It's one of the yeah. classic ones. I I usually watch it every year. Um, again, like it, it kind of like with the other of my bot my bottom five that aren't actually my bottom five. Um, you know, I just kind of consider it them all to kind of be mishmash together. So yeah, I, I would watch them probably equally. Um, but I really like it. Yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that. It's a it's a solid Christmas movie, and it has a very festive feel so like you watch it and you feel festive that's the oh, way okay. i look at it <laughs> it's kind of like it's a wonderful life is that what it's called yeah which Honestly, i've, I've also <laughs> n- i think i've seen part of it everyone loves it a lot of people it, will consider it to be my, their top my mom loved that movie um and not gonna well, lie it's not one of my favorites yeah i don't think it's, it's very a, old schooly yeah so. and i think that's why i like i don't there's like a certain period of movies that I just don't like yeah. that are kind of like old schooly, yeah. and I think it fits in that area. Um, Agreed. So honestly, that would probably be in like my hate category. But my mom, like her tradition every year, still watch it's a wonderful was life. to watch "It's a Wonderful Life" and decorate our Christmas tree. Oh yeah. And I was never allowed to be a part of that. <laughs> so maybe that's why I hate that movie. I also have never seen it in full. Yeah. Because I was I not like allowed to watch it. I've seen it once, and I remember yeah. being like, movie. Like, I guess yeah. it makes you feel festive. Yeah. And I'm sorry for anyone listening to this that loves that movie, because I know it's a it's a very beloved I'm Christmas not sorry. Movie. <laughs> uh, she's not. She's no. really not. So what was your what was your bottom, quote unquote? My bottom favorite was uh, Christmas Shoes. Oh. Because. Like I, said, I, told you, I think I told you I hadn't actually seen that movie, but I know the song. Yeah. So I would love to, um, to watch that. I love 
the song Christmas Shoes, mm-hmm. and I love the movie Christmas Shoes. But it is one of those ones where you watch it and you're like, you're going to feel a lot of emotions. That song is um, also one of the ones where you feel a yeah, lot of emotions. Yeah, literally take the song and then it's put like images to it. one of the very few songs that li- that makes me cry. And a yeah. lot of songs don't really make me cry, but but the song makes me cry. <laughs> yeah. But like a good cry in some ways. Yeah, it know. goes a little close to home for me, so. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those movies where it's like, Emily, you need to force yourself to have feelings today. So that's how she does it. Shove in Christmas shoes. <laughs> oh my god. Because um, what are emotions? <laughs> are emotions, Emily? I don't know. Um. um so what's anyway, your next one? Um, the man who invented Christmas. That was last year. Did you ever hear about it? No. Um, it's kind of like a Christmas. T- sorry, like the. I don't know how to explain it. Like uh, a Christmas tale, based. Oh, it's okay. You'd have to watch it. It's I like it. <laughs> okay. I like it a lot. Um, and it's it's kind of it, I kind of like a, it's on the vein of, of Frozen, where like I said uh, before, where it's like it's one that I like now, and maybe over time will kind of like drop gotcha. down a bit. But like right now, because it's new, yeah, I I really I still really like it. Okay, um, I've only seen it a couple times, but like as of right now, I'm like, oh, I actually really like that. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, I think I, I, that's one we could probably watch at some point. Okay. Because you haven't, haven't heard of it. <laughs> um, this one I didn't actually write down, but I had my nine spot blank because I was mm-hmm. just like, I don't know. But I'm going to fill it with um, a Mickey Christmas Carol. It's like... I forgot about that it's one. Like, and it's not even just the Christmas Carol. Like It's like all the... like You know how there's like that... Yeah. And it's just like all the Disney like Christmas things. And it has like the one where like they sell things to yeah. like get the gift. And like it's just blah, blah, fucking blah, yeah. that old story. And then there's like... Um, the one with the, um, oh, the chipmunks and like they keep, no, 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 no. um, oh wait, no, I know what you're talking about. And like they Um, keep waking up and it's like Christmas. Oh my God. It's like Groundhog's Day. Yeah, it's Groundhog's Day. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you're Um, talking about. that's like that whole, like that whole section I'm going to put in the number nine section. No, that's a, no, that, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I'd actually completely, I didn't even think about that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would still go in my top 10. Yeah, understandable. But, I mean, and for no other reason other than, like, it's been a long time since I've seen it. I'd have to watch it again to, like, be like, oh, how much do I like that again? Yeah. Um, But I'm pretty sure I like it a lot. I just would need to remind myself (laughs) what's going on. Um, So. Eight. Eight, sorry, I kind of got mine all messed up here. Okay. All right, uh, the Polar Express. Okay. Um, that one would probably have actually been higher on my list. It's yet again been a while since I've seen it. Yeah. Um, but as a kid, I really liked that one, and that was I think that was one that was like it got me in the Christmas spirit, but it was also there were like some weird emotions behind it, and I remember always mm-hmm. after watching it, I would feel a little weird. But it always, like, it was it's, one of those, it's one of those movies to me that reminded me the meaning of Christmas. You know, it was yeah. one of those movies to me, you 100%. know? 100%. Um, for me, the Polar Express, um, it, I mean, if you don't know, it started off as the book. Mm-hmm. And um, my mom used to read that book to me all the time. So as a book, um, you like it. So as a book, I love it. And it's actually, um, I have it on my list, and it is higher than you. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'll get to that later. But for me... Um, I was really nervous going into the movie because I was like, what are you, what, no. Um, and I hated it at first. I watched the movie, I think, before I read the book, before I heard the book. Oh, really? I think, unless my mom read it to me as a very young kid and I don't remember Oh, it. see, I had the book and I had, I had a bell. Oh. So I, I could hear because I was a kid. Yeah. It's also a real bell. So <laughs> everyone can hear it. Yep. Sorry, I ruined all the surprise. Um, but, uh, yeah, I when I watched the movie, I didn't like it. Um, and the more I watch it, the more I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's definitely taking time. I imagine if I read the book first and then the movie, I probably... I mean, it probably would probably it might yeah. be in the same place. Like I said, it would have been higher, but I just had a lot of other movies that I was like... I'd probably watch it over that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, which is hard, because I'm just like, oh, but I... But like. Again, you like Christmas movies for different things, so it's exactly. really hard to actually rank it. Yeah, for me, like, that fucking scene with him on the back of the train when he's, like, singing. Yes, exactly. That's that, the that's only the one. one. That's, that's so the scene. High. That's the one. And also, the caribou. <laughs> caribou! <laughs> it's such a weird movie. 
And but like it was also it was very almost relatable as a kid, you know. Somehow yeah. to me, like you know how you talked about Inside Out being one of those yeah. things that helped you fe- like you figure out your emotions. Strangely, that's the kind of that's yeah. what kind of the Polar Express was for me. Okay, and I know that sounds weird, but that's kind of like like I said, what helped me discover true meaning of Christmas. Yeah. Of, there's actually another. No, it's actually not another movie. But yeah, that, that, that's definitely the one movie that kind of helped me figure out my feelings around Christmas. Also, I've, you mentioned that like you had a weird feeling after you finished it. I feel like it's the way it's animated. The way it's animated is kind of weird. That is it's true. It's kind of lifelike, but it's not. And it's like, yeah. what's happening? No, but like the weird, the weird feeling came mostly from like the feelings it made you feel. Oh, okay. Also, the fact that Steven Tyler does a song at the end. Yeah. Like and that, that was that was definitely kind I of weird. love it. It was definitely, but it's okay, like, it was definitely a weird movie. Yeah. It was definitely a weird movie. Yeah, but it's one that I really actually like, and now I want to watch it. The what? more I talk about it, the more well, I watch good it. news. I own it. I can sure. watch it. Not surprised. Um, so what about your seven? Um, or eight. eight. Sorry, uh, okay. mine is Fred Claus. Oh, you I have that one higher actually. Love. Oh, okay. I really love that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's hysterical. I think it's such a great, like, family flick. It's such a, like, you know, brothers against brothers. No, yeah, I like, think it's so freaking funny. And um, the little kid, and all he wants is macaroni. <laughs> and by that, I mean the dog macaroni, not macaroni mm-hmm. like me, because that's all I want is macaroni and yeah. cheese. I always like movies <laughs> that are kind of about Scrooges, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like movies that are about that, and then they kind of like become less Scroogey. Did you forget Scrooge? Yeah, I didn't actually put it on my list. Surprisingly, no, it's in, my, it's in my honorable mentions, but it's not on my list. Yeah, but no, I, I was wondering if you put that on your list at all because <laughs> totally it seemed forget. like the perfect kind of movie you would love. I love Scrooge. <laughs> Bill Murray is my <laughs> idol. I think he's hysterical. I love all of his movies. Um, yeah, Scrooge is somewhere not on this list, but on this like, list. Like, it's not in my top ten, but I really like it. Like, yeah. this was definitely a hard list to put, so if it, nothing's on, if it's not on this list, it doesn't <laughs> mean, and I do have honorable mentions, so before I get Also, to- I want to mention the fact, see, I didn't write honorable mentions. I did. I'm just Because I had things. to. <laughs> um, I was like, no, I can't forget you. I love the classic claymations. Yeah. And, and I, I did not put them on You here. didn't. Um, I put, wait, oh, sh- oh, no, I put it in my honorable mention, actually. Nope, I didn't put them on, no, wait. No, I didn't put them on here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I do love them. Um, I just, I don't know what, it, it's weird because I feel like those almost have their own ranking because they, exactly. I, I really have to be in the mood for them because there are yeah. a lot of times when I don't want to watch them. Yeah. But I really have to be moved. One of them is on my special. I actually have to have the Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer is on my special on Because oh, yeah. I actually really like that one. I do love that one. But again, my dad loves that one. But again, because the animation, claymation to me is so strange and it's very old. It just has a, mm-hmm. again, that weird feeling. I have to be in the mood for it. 100%. But when I'm in the mood for it, I am in the mood for it. And so I'm watch watching them all. the whole yeah, day. watching all of them. <laughs> like, and I have two sets of them. Oh, really? With, like, so I have, like, everything. Oh, that's amazing. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, yeah. So you're seven. Oh, yeah. Um, my seven is Charlie Brown Christmas. <gasps> and I forgot that one, too! Charlie Brown Christmas was one we, we did watch as a family for a bit. We actually watched yeah. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving one more, probably. See, mine was the Halloween Oh, I forgot about that one. That's right. Charlie Brown Halloween and Charlie Brown Christmas were the two yeah. that I grew up watching, and those are yeah, pretty the much the only sure. I know. We lo- I love the Christmas one. And again, do, that's another do, one that kind do, of gets you... Do, do, it's very relatable do, as a kid. Do, do. Yeah. And it's also a little bit funny because it's Charlie Brown. It's just one of those ones we watched, you know, it, it, like, it has a family feeling. It does. It was very much a family thing. It, it was those... Like, that was the one that, like, it came on TV and, like, we planned... You know, Monday at 8 p.m. It was coming right. on. No, we we, sat we, we used, used to watch it on DVD because we had them on DVD. Oh, okay, so, we, so we did. <laughs> and I think um, I want to say we had it on VHS first, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm oh, honestly yeah. not sure. Actually, I might have it on VHS, but it was like one of those things that, like, when it came on TV, like we yeah I'm made sure we were there. Um, so my number seven was Polar Express. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, There's, yeah. So it was, it was right around the same place. Yeah, so yeah. Again, Polar Express is just it's just a good it's just a good movie. Yeah, it gets and I think part of the reason I also really liked it is that the whole movie is with has snow throughout the whole thing, and I like. Oh, and I know that sounds I didn't weird. Even notice that, or at least the majority of it, if I can remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but I just it's just it's just one of, I like Christmas movies that mm-hmm. all, all take place. Claymation, I believe the Claymation one also yeah. the same thing, all in snow. 
And that makes me feel very festive. Yeah. And entry. Especially someone who doesn't like snow, but I like to watch it. Yeah. It looks nice when you look also, at it. Also, the annoying kid from... Oh my god. <laughs> Color Express. I low-key love him. I think the more you watch it as an adult, the more you kind of, like, you hate him, but you love him. Yeah. You're just like, you're just annoying, me. but, like, me. Me. <laughs> I would love to see Cusco from Emperor's New Groove in that movie. Oh my imagine god. that. Just imagine that. No. I think I could imagine it perfectly. Um, I think that's the, that's the other thing. So, like I said, Polar Express is one of these weird ones for mm-hmm. me that's kind of on its own, in its own place. But yeah. I didn't put it higher up just because of that. Mm-hmm. Um, where it's like, Polar Express is one of the things I can imagine myself in. Okay. Like, you can, I can imagine myself, I can imagine others in it. It's like, the I almost feel like I can put myself into it, and I'm, yeah. I'm on the Polar Express. And that's, I can, yeah, I can put other people onto it, like my friends and this. And I used to have dreams about the Polar Express. Oh, right. <laughs> it's, again, it's one of those really strange ones yeah. for me. But, like, where I felt like I was one of those kids. Yeah. No, understandable. Also, I just want you guys to know, if you're not watching this, which you should be, uh, Dami and I have matching onesies on. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, we're, um, and, and just so you know, they are based on Elf. So there's Elf quotes all over it. You're welcome. And, and wait, should I show them? Can, you can, can show, show them, them your the butt, butt, but you're gonna have to talk because then I have to walk away from my mic. Oh, that's fine. It's okay. I'm just. Um, I, you, it might be blurry, but like, look at my butt. It's. <laughs> what are what are our butts saying? Again? Oh, um, does go. someone need a hug with the raccoon? I totally forgot. And then, and then you see his face, and then yep. There yeah. Yeah. I don't know and if I the camera it. could actually see that. You could. Okay, good. Good, so, good. if you're not watching it, you should watch our YouTube channel just so you can see Dami's butt. You're yeah, welcome. You're welcome. I'm really glad the flap wasn't down. Like, <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's a butt flap. I yeah. can literally, I, I, I used it today. It was great. I've never, <laughs> I've never had a onesie with a butt flap. So. It's amazing. Also, it's really hot right now. The, the apartment's not hot, but like no. in these onesies, it's hot. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a onesie. So, that's just a thing that we're going to have to deal with at some point. Um, <laughs> okay, so what? We're on anyway. six. Um, yeah, we're on number six. I need to, like, sorry, my, my ranking is, looks really weird. Um, so I put Fred Claus. On for six. six? Um, yeah, Fred Claus, and it's kind of funny, because you reminded me of that the other day, because that was one I actually used to watch a lot. Uh-huh. Um, because it's one of those funny ones, and mm-hmm. as you know, I really like funny things, funny movies, mm-hmm. quote-unquote feel good in a way, and I kind of put Fred Claus in that category. Yeah. In a way. Um, but I really like it. Anything that's like kind of Scrooge related, like it's not actually Scrooge, but anyone yeah. where like where there's a Scrooge in it, yeah, so so to speak, um, always tickles me. Just, <laughs> that's the way to put it. It tickles me. It's just a funny movie, and I actually enjoy watching it. Yeah. So that's it, it's really as simple as that, to be honest. This is at six is kind of when the next five are kind of on the same playing field for me. So like your top five are all basically your top. My movies. top there's. My I have my very top movie, mm-hmm. and then I have like five s- second places. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so my first second place is Elf. So I I love that movie. Love I remember Elf. seeing it in the theaters for the first time. It's hysterical. It's so iconic. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many amazing quotes from it. Like Elf is Elf is great. I mean Elf is great. So many gifts from, from Elf. Like it's so great. It's so I love funny. you. I love you. But I love it, also, you. it also makes you feel things a little bit. It does. It does make you feel a little bit. So it's one. Of, yeah, it's definitely one of those movies that make that you get all the emotions. Do we it. have maple syrup? Yeah, we do. Can we make like his pop tart or like his um. Noodle, I've, noodles and I've syrup. I've always wanted to actually do that. We should do that. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, cool. <laughs> we can just put like syrup and his and his, you know, his spaghetti and all the candies and, and pop tarts. Oh, that'd be amazing. We can do that. That'd cool. be great. Maybe we'll look, do that as a live a, stream on my channel. Yeah, look, look out for a future video or a live stream on one of our channels. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. Do um, you number five. My number five, and this is where it's actually um, in order. Okay. Is the 1969 version of Frosty the Snowman. The animated one. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait. Yeah, it's the animated <laughs> Frosty the Snowman, yeah. the one that everyone watches. And that's yeah. just because it was a very, that was pretty much my childhood. That was mm-hmm. my childhood Christmas. Mm-hmm. It was Frosty the Snowman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we watched that all the time. It was kind of like, it's kind of like the Charlie Brown Christmas one, except that's the one I remember. I I, I remember it very distinctly. Yeah. Um, it was definitely very short. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but as a kid, like, that was it. Like, yeah, that was the one. So when I think of Christmas, like 
for yeah. the holidays, really. See, that's I, I think I, like, wore myself out of Frosty the Snowman, and that's why... There's other reasons why it's in my top, and it's mm-hmm. family-related reasons gotcha. that I don't feel like talking about. Which like, is fine. It's a, but it's still, it's got a very, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's a lot of meaning to me. Yeah. See, I just watched it so much as a kid that, like, I'm like, ah, I don't need to watch it this year. <laughs> also, but that reminded me of um, Jack Frost. And that's such a, like, sad feel-good movie. Yeah. That's in my bottom. Is it? That snowman was fucking terrifying. Okay. Yes. But, like... No, I hated that. No, okay, I don't hate it. I would still watch it. Okay, any of these movies that I hate, I don't actually hate, but it's not one I would actually purposely go out of my way to watch. See, That snowman is still fucking terrifying. His dad... Who created those special effects? (laughs) <laughs> Who did that? But like his it's a dad nightmare. comes back as a snowman. I okay, I get that, but he came back as a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, it's a horror movie. <laughs> no, I could go through that movie and tell you all the parts where I'm just like, I this is scarier than Insidious or like The Conjuring. Like this is fucking terrifying. I mean. It's a ghost. Came back. Okay, anyway. Right. <laughs> Wait, so that was your number five oh, was sorry. Fred, right? No, no, my number five was Frosty. Oh, Frosty. Mm-hmm. My number five is the Santa Claus. And by number five, it's my number two. But there's yes. five number yes. twos. Um, is the Santa Claus, the original Santa mm-hmm. Claus, um, is such a fucking classic. I like that I one. watch yeah. it like a million times a year. Um, I probably put that in the same vein as Miracle at 30, on 30, 34. But really? I, decided I, I decided I liked that one better. Miracle on so That's why I put that one down. I, but I have Santa Claus in my, in my special Allen, mentions. Tim Allen, man. I love me some Tim Allen. No, it is like, a very classic movie. Um, There's a lot and, of classics that, to me, as far as I'm concerned, are all on the same. Like, yeah. They're all rated the same to me. And <laughs> I even like the Santa Claus too. Really? I, I don't think I've seen love... that one, to be honest. I don't think I've seen the second one. Um, the second one is still really great. Mm-hmm. The third one is like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, um, I mean, the, the, when it comes to to um, Christmas sequels, I didn't really consider any of them. Because for the yeah. most part, they're kind of like, eh. Yeah, no, the to original me. Santa Claus is definitely the best. Um, but the second one is still really good. Yeah, no. Charlie's yeah. in high up. school and... He's got a little really? sister now. Like, I don't really know much yeah. about this, the second one. I, oh, so cute. At some point, we'll watch that, actually. Yeah. I'd like to we'll see have, I, li- I like we, the first one. So. Can we have a Santa Claus marathon? Sure. No, that'd be fun. <laughs> Just do we can do that. Christmas There's all sorts of little Christmas marathons we can do. Yes! I love a Home Alone marathon. Cause, yes! By the way. Um, anyway. Number four. Number four. I actually have, and this is my movie that takes place on Christmas, but is kind of not really a Christmas okay. movie, is Trading Places. Um, I've never actually officially seen it. That is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, when I'm just talking about one of my favorite movies, mm-hmm. Trading Places is up there. And I freaking mm-hmm. love it. Eddie Murphy's in it? Yes. Amazing. Just fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, who's the other guy? What's his name? Dan Aykroyd, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's got a fantastic cast, and it's just, and I consider it a feel-good movie, because for some reason, the ending to me was so satisfying. Okay. It was so satisfying, and that's one of those movies I left where I was like, oh, I'm so glad that happened. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes you watch movies and like, yeah, it's a sad, look, like, I don't know. Like, that's why I call it a feel, feel-good feel movie. Yeah. Like, it's, it has a very feel satisfying good. ending. Um, but through it all, it obviously, it's a little, like, it's, it's an adult movie. It's yeah. not really a Christmas movie. It just takes place around Christmas. Okay. Well, which, um, But I do consider it a Christmas movie. I mean, I you could think consider it's... Edward Scissorhands a Christmas movie if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, I saw that. It. We have a bracket that uh, we might get into. And Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Edward Scissorhands. And I love that I movie. I love that movie. If I'm talking Christmas movies, I don't think I would. Yeah, and I also I don't... forget Die Hard. Like, I, that does take place on Christmas. I've also never seen Die Hard. Oh, okay. Well, we'll if we go into the bracket, we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, anyway, so, which I think it's very interesting that you put a, like, Christmas, non-Christmas movie. Yeah. Um, because my four is Love Actually. There you go, yeah. Which, which I made you watch. the same, yeah. Yeah. I made you, I made her watch the other day because I think Yeah, I've never actually seen it. I'm very a much. beautiful movie. Romance and romantic comedies are, are, they have to be. There are certain types of romantic comedies I will watch. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, it doesn't always get me. It doesn't mean I don't like them. It just means they're kind of like, like on the tier of like, I've watched them once. I might watch them again in the yeah. background, but that's about it. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not a big... I, I know you really like that movie, though. Yeah. I know your mom really liked that movie. Yeah, as a 
romantic. I hate romantic movies. But right, it's, same though. But <laughs> that like, I'm such a hopeless romantic. Yeah, we're, it's disgusting. we're hopeless romantics, and yet at the same time, we both are like romance movies. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but, like, for me, love actually, I love the concept of, like, all these stories meshing together, Mm -hmm. and, um... And you said that it started that whole trend. I'm pretty sure it was the first of its kind, or it was very new. Yeah. It was a very new concept, um, and I think it's so well done, and, like, oh, like, that, that, for me, that movie gives me so many emotions. It does. It does have a very, yeah, there is an emotional... Like, Emma Thompson in that movie, Mm -hmm. that scene where I, like, was having a mental breakdown. Like, I don't want to spoil, like, why she's crying, but, like, she's, like, in her room crying, and then she has to come out and be, like, a mom. She she did a great job. I love her as an actress. Fuck you, Severus Snape! I I love her as an actress, but, like, in that particular scene, I was actually, like, ooh, wow. Yeah, like, it hurts. And, like, as an adult watching that movie, like, you're just, like, fuck. My personal storyline, favorite storyline in that when I watched it with you mm. was the, the the little boy and his stepfather. Oh, that was oh. my favorite storyline. Oh. It also had a little bit of humor to it. Yeah. But like, I really liked it. Oh my god, it. he's running through the airport. That was my favorite. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, that, 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 no, I love that. Right? And then when he comes out, he has this like this smug grin like, on. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just ran after a bitch in an airport. And it wasn't even until after, and, it was, and after then was when he actually, quote unquote, got the girl. Like, mm-hmm. but he was just smiling smugly because, like, he did the thing. Yeah. He did the thing. He did the thing. <laughs> oh, it was great. And I just love how supportive the father was trying to support yeah. him in this, in this, which is, like, I don't know. It was, I like that. That particular storyline was what was my personal favorite. Yeah. Favorite. No, it's great. Like, that was, um, that, I was invested in that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I love the, like, two that do stand-in porn. And oh, like, that's right. No, that, yeah, that, that was really fun. They're like, fall. <laughs> oh, that was, that was very funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there, there are some quite funny bits. <laughs> yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> Any that's who's good, there. That's a good one. Again, it's, I, I watched it once, and it's not, it's not one I was, like, totally invested in, but there were certain storylines that, like, when they came on, I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's not one of those movies I can watch a hundred times, because, like, a romance yes. movie and feelings and you yeah, know. <laughs> but like I need to watch it a good like five times a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of no, that that makes again. sense. Okay. Yeah. Um. So number three, we're on number now. Three. Um. So the next three are very. I'm gonna call them kind of classics. So ones that a lot of people like. In terms okay. Of movies. Um. So my third is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh wait, how did that not make it on here? How did that not make it on here? I fucking love that movie. <laughs> Damn. But I, that is my that is solidly my number three. Yeah, um, below the other two, but like solidly my number three. Um, oh, and, and I even like the original. It. What? I love the original uh-huh. too. Oh, it's gotta be. Yeah. No, but you, I like. I honestly like all versions of it. I know there's like a new version coming out. Did you hear Wait. That? Yeah. No. 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 I'm actually so excited about it. I am excited about it too. The posts or the um, billboards for it in LA <laughs> are so. <laughs> Fucking oh, no. funny. Tell them about the billboard you saw in Beverly Hills. I was okay, so I was going to a job interview in Beverly Hills, and all of a sudden <laughs> I look up and it's just the Grinch's face, a green background, and it says, I put gluten in your smoothie. That's like, so LA. So like LA. he's being evil, like teehee, I put gluten in your smoothie, when most of the country would be like, it's so Yeah. There's like- <laughs> I saw um my friend posted one on Instagram and it was something like, Stop moving to LA, it's full. Or like something like stop, <laughs> or something along those mm-hmm. lines. Like it was like an ouch kind of moment. Like yeah. Or like it was something about like stop moving to LA for your dream. It f- it's full. Like don't come. Here. Like stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, no. Real LA natives really hate transplants. To be honest. Oh yeah, like, no, I know that. Nah, that sucks for you. Hey! <laughs> We're here anyway. But yeah, no, I'm so excited for it because like he's such a sassy asshole and it, I love it, it. It looks like and honestly so far the Grinch like, like any any Grinch remakes or like original and, and any of the Grinch movies are have been good. Yeah. They've been good. So I, I, I think that it's still gonna be good. I'm probably gonna go and see anyway, it. anyway and pretty much all Christmas movies I am I w- whether they're on my list or not I like. Okay. Like guilty pleasure like. So I do have and I'm just gonna mention one of my other special mentions right now. And mm-hmm. this is a, d- a definite guilty pleasure. Not a good movie, but like I love it. Yeah. It's Bad Mom's Christmas. I haven't seen it and it's I want so to. It's so funny. And who what is her name? Who is the actress in that? 
Oh my um, god. Um, she's the mom. Okay. She's, there's. I know, but I'm trying to. There's Mila me. Kunis. There's the girl who played Anna. No, I know. Kristen yeah, I know. I know. Bell. But no, but yeah, it's Kristen Bell. But like, I'm talking about like Mila Kunis's mom in this show. And oh. she, she's a very famous actress. And for some reason, off the top of my head, my the name isn't coming to me. Um, but but she is so great in it. Mm-hmm. And she's one of the main characters in this particular piece. I, you should go see it. It's one of my guilt. It's, it's it's not on my list, but it is one of my guilty pleasures that I just like to see for a good fun Christmas romp. Yeah, like it's just you know. And also, like, Bad Moms, just the, just the series, it's just, it's not, like, I'm not a mom, it's not relatable to me, but, like, I, my mom has told me about the struggles that she's had, mm-hmm. and I, I, I can kind of feel it through that. Yeah. You know, it's kind of just like, oh, I can feel me like Kunis' pain. Like, I've I always know. wanted to see them. Honestly, you've never seen Bad Moms either? No. Okay, we need to watch. No, mm-hmm. for real. It's a very, and, uh, it's so good. Okay, can we please? Can yeah, we no, please? seriously, no, I've always I'm wanted like, to watch real. it. Um, I feel like we're going to be watching Christmas movies this evening. Yep. <laughs> or just movies in general, whatever yep. it's going to be. Anyway. But so, yeah, so that's, but anyway, three. number three for me was How the Grinch okay. Stole Christmas. Um, for me, it's A Christmas Story. Oh, yeah. I love that movie. Um, the amount of times a year I will look at my, um, like, when I was a kid, I used to, whenever I would get in trouble or, like, someone would be in trouble in my household, either, like, my mom, my dad, or me, like, somebody was mad at somebody, like, we would always be like, Daddy's gonna kill Ralphie! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh especially around, like, if, like, my dad was in trouble, like, I would just be like, we Mommy's gonna kill one. Daddy! Like, we never watched that movie that much. I'm surprised. Uh, I feel like it mu- it's gotta be one of my mom well, and dad's, like, favorites. It's yeah. It feels like they would like it. But for some reason, I don't recall watching it much with them. See, it, we didn't watch it much when I was really, really young. But it was just, then, like, all the story. Um... Yeah. And then at, I think it was, uh, is it TNT? There's one TNT. Cha- no, I know what you're talking about. And they do it 24 hours during I can't Christmas. I remember. Oh, my God. One of, the, one of the TV channels, they do it 24 hours. It's just a Christmas story after each other. And my dad and I, for the last probably four to five years, mm-hmm. have just, like, when Christmas is on, we turn it on and, like, we'll, like, have it in the background and we won't play, like pay attention to it, but a Christmas story is playing mm-hmm. for twenty four hours in my house, so like it's funny because we'll just like pick, like we'll watch the full movie in pieces. Oh my God, like random pieces. Oh my God, yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's what we do because it's just the two of us. Yeah. So we'll just like we'll open our presents and like it'll be playing. We'll we'll eat dinner. It'll be playing. <laughs> like, oh no, it, no, it's a good no. It's definitely it's a good movie. I don't. Yeah. It, it's it's not on my list for. I don't know. It's just. It's. I guess you consider a special mention. Like I like it. Yeah. But. And I would watch it again. Wow, your stomach is. I wonder if you guys could hear that. <laughs> if you, you heard that? that, like I think it was pretty loud. There is a monster in my stomach. No. You're also like my mic is at my stomach, yeah. so you probably heard <laughs> but it. Yeah, You're no, welcome. I, I didn't have to explain like the How the Grinch Stole Christmas is well, like well why it's one of my my, my top three. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, it's always the it's that ending scene where it's like his heart grew. And actually, I read, <laughs> I read the story. Like, me the story book first is the yeah. one that I used to read first. And I think most people did probably. <laughs> yeah. And also the original cartoon, but then like yeah. you know the, the it movie. was the book, the cartoon, and then the for me yeah and the exactly. new movie. Um, but yeah, so it's but but yeah that, that that's the order that it came in. But like that last one, his heart grew, his heart grew bigger. And, like, three it nice. times. Like, three times. But I don't know. It was one of it was one of those things I would read, and I'd be like, "The true meaning of Christmas." <laughs> and I'd just be like, you know, half oh, fake sobbing. Where are you, kids? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get to that song later. But <laughs> I love that song. That's a great um, song. But you know, I really I really like that. What I like were you doing the other day where I was like, my heart's going three times as big. I don't remember I don't what it was. Remember, honestly, I don't know what it was. But like, probably I watching did it. a movie or something. I don't, know. I don't know. I just remember it was funny. Whatever it was, yeah. it was funny. No, but this movie because I have a tiny heart. You know, it had, it had a theme of third theme of commercialism. Yeah, which like you know, like a lot of people talk about, especially nowadays. So like, it's it, the movie is continuously relevant. Yeah, <laughs> and then like how it's like, oh, but we have our family with us, or our friends, or like you know, we have each other, and you yeah. know, singing songs, and that's Christmas to me. Like, yeah. So I like that. Yeah, anyway, 100%. I just I really like that movie, and it's just funny. It is. It's <laughs> like Chris, the Grinch literally just took Christmas trees and and all the other shit. And just the who ham. <laughs> The whole who ham. The whole who ham. <laughs> oh, and the who's are funny. I'm not they sure. Are. They kind of remind me of Goofy. 
They're like yeah. anamorphic like, dog. Yeah. They're fine. Yeah. Anyway, um, so you said you're number three, so now we're on number yeah. two. Yeah. Mine's Home Alone, actually. Okay. Um, my, that didn't make the list for me. That's one I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad loves Home Alone. Yeah. And the actor, and why can I not remember it? I'm so Macaulay bad. Holly Culkin? There you go. I'm so bad at remembering actor names. I'm so sorry. I am too. But I'm I know actually really they, impressed with myself. But I know who they are. Yeah. I know who they are. Like, I know you. I've seen you. Yeah. But, you know, if I try to remember your name, like, it's, I, I, I can't. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, he's, uh, I think that that was one of my dad's favorite actors for a while. Yeah. As with most people. And we watched a lot of, like, 80s movies, too, as a kid. That's uh-huh. a big thing. And I, if I recall correctly, Home Alone was in 80s? I thought it was, it was 90s. Night? It may have been 90s, but I know. I think it's early 90s. But I thought, huh. I thought it was 80s. I don't know. It could have been. It, 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 might, mean, it might have been early 90s, honestly. Who knows? Honestly, I can't remember. But I remember that was kind of in the same vein as those other ones they showed me, like, you know, Breakfast Club and yeah. and 16 Candles and all that. Watched it around the same time, probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was one of those you know, Christmas movies that we watched growing up. And he was just such a smart ass. Yeah. And honestly, like, I love Home Alone 2 and 3, Guilty Pleasures. I didn't put them on the list because, like, yeah. I don't. And honestly, I like Home Alone 2 a lot. Okay. That's the one where he goes to New York. Um, oh, yeah. That was Home Alone 2, right? I don't know. Sure. That was too, I'm pretty I sure was never too really followed the Home Alones. Um, we did. I, I've i seen the first one several times. We constantly do the... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's a great movie. It's just never one of my go-tos. Mm-hmm. Like, it's never... Like, I'm never really in a, like, I'm in a Home Alone mood. Like... I am. So. Sometimes I'm in a Home Alone mood. So. It's, just, it's just a funny movie. Yeah. And in some ways, I consider it to be a movie that happens to happen on Christmas, so it's like in like that, in yeah. that same vein. So I don't, I don't necessarily just watch it around Christmas. I'll watch it year round. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Home Alone's my my number two. My number two, contrary to like what I celebrate, Eight Crazy Nights. You know what? I you know what's funny? Like, cause I eight. almost put that. I almost put that on here for some reason. Like, I, I was my number ten. I was. Like, I, I was very late to the game. I watched it very far after it was over. Mm-hmm. But someone like was like, oh, have you ever seen Eight Crazy Nights? And I was like, no, what is it? And they were like, oh, my God. And I watched it, and I was like, oh, my God. I am probably one of... I'm surprised of, that's one of your top. I wouldn't have thought of that. Adam you. Sandler is one of my favorite people in the world. Like, if I met Adam Sandler in person, mm-hmm. like, I would not be able to control myself. Like, you would have full-on crazy fangirl. <laughs> um, so, uh, I love him to death. And, like, so that movie... And I think it's hysterical. No, it is really funny. And, like, honestly, like, I know... You're part Jewish, kind of like. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. So, like, and I'm my, not Jewish my, at all. My dad's Jewish, so in our family we celebrated Hanukkah and all of that. Yeah, and I, I honestly, and I legit actually almost included it um, on my list. Yeah. I didn't um, because it, I guess it's not one of my top holiday movies. Yeah, but, like I almost included it. Just, but just where I records. grew up, there really I didn't know anybody who was actually Jewish until I went to college. Mm-hmm. So like. I, we never really learned about Hanukkah. Like, it was like, oh, Hanukkah exists, kind of a thing. Weird. So, like, it was, like, and granted, not that that really does much for Hanukkah, mm-hmm. but, like, it was a cool movie for me to watch. Mm-hmm. And, I like, I think it's hysterical. Like, I will watch it a hundred times over. That's so. cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued. I wouldn't have thought that that would be on your list at yeah, all. I, I didn't even know you it. knew about that movie. Yeah. But it, it makes sense because you like, you like Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah, he's my god. Yeah. Number one, number, number one. Number one. So, um, my number one movie is Elf. I figured. I mean, it's really not that complicated. I oh. watch Elf at all times of year just to feel festive. Mm-hmm. I love Elf. <laughs> I, I, just, I just love the but story. Elf, what's your favorite color? I never get tired of it. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. It's just he's... And Will Ferrell's really good in it. He's so terrible. Like, he just, I don't know. and But it, to me, I mean, Elf yeah. is one of those movies that, like, again, like I said before, it just, it makes you feel all the emotions. Like, yeah. all the different emotions to me. Like, it's it's obviously, like, throughout, it's funny. It's a comedy. Yeah. But then there are times when it makes you feel a little bit, like, ooh, feelings. Like, ooh, family. And, the, ooh, a little bit sad. And, ooh, a little bit of this, you know? Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. I, I feel, I love, I just like the character of Buddy the Elf. I like the part where he, you know, he finds love with this person who's kind of skeptical. <laughs> And takes her on this really weird date, but then I thought, damn, I would love to be taken on a date like this. Yeah. This would be amazing. Yeah. Like, it'd be so unique. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, by the way, guys, just, just so you know, you can get date ideas from Buddy the Elf. 
for me. Just so you know. Um, but but then also like he makes friends with the little with the with the son mm-hmm. and like all of a sudden and like you know I love that part too where it's like all of a sudden I he's love like, when he calls about the radiator. <laughs> 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 and then he has like a party down in the mail room and it's yeah. just there's, but then also and like I said before I like Scrooge like movies with a Scrooge in it yeah. and there's definitely the big Scrooge which is his dad which makes yeah. it more complicated and then like eventually gets him in the Christmas mood and I'm just like oh buddy yeah. you did it yeah but anyway for me I love Elf this is complete side note from that but um, my uncle owns a restaurant and he used to have a um, card where you could do like a comment card mm-hmm. and like give feedback or like, you know, what should we change? And for like two years straight, every single time I went to the restaurant, which was a lot, <laughs> um, I would write on the comment card the thing because it'd be like uh, suggestions for the future, like what we could change. And I would write down, answer the phone saying, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Because oh, I wanted my did you uncle. Ever do it? No. Oh, that was so. That'd be so. Funny. It was a restaurant, like, and it was like a nice uh, establishment, and like, obviously they need once. to like <laughs> just once. But I was just like, that's how I want, like, I, like whenever someone calls the restaurant, like, buddy, the elf, what's your favorite color? That'd be like, amazing. <laughs> oh, there should be an elf themed restaurant. Like, a, like, or just yes. a Christmas themed restaurant, but like, that's how you answer the phone. Yes, that'd be amazing. I agree. By the way, um, no ideas. I would so, go to the so what's your top movie? My number one, which is probably I'm no one. Not sure what this is. A Muppet's uh, Christmas Carol. Oh really? Because I have that in my bottom. Really? Um, and not again, not one that I hate, um, but just one that honestly, any Muppets thing weirds me out. I'm gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. Just, um, just in general, Muppets things just kind of I don't really. Care there are about. very few Muppet movies that I like. But you really like this one. Why? Um, Muppet. Oh, I'll get there. I like Muppets Christmas. I like Treasure Island. And there's one more Muppets movie that I like. And I don't I remember what it what is. I'll be honest. Um, I think there's one more. Um, anyway. Um, but the reason why I like the Muppets Christmas Carol is it is my dad's favorite Christmas movie. Really? It is for... And, for some odd reason, like my dad is kind of a Scrooge. Um, he is very much like Christmas does not start until like December 15th kind of a situation. Like, yes, I does. can't watch Christmas movies in our living room until that date. Like, he's like, contain your Christmas. Like, and oh, he's gonna love visiting. Us. I know. He's gonna <laughs> freak out. I need to call him and like warn him. But, um, he, this is the one movie that every Christmas, no matter what was happening, we would sit, and as a kid, it started off with, it would sit down as a family. Mm-hmm. Um, and then later, like, it is the one time um, where my dad and I will 100% be like, okay, we need to sit down and watch this movie. Aww. Um, we have the entire movie memorized. And ever since I was a little kid, like, we would sit there and sing. And we would sing all oh, the songs. Oh, that's so cute, though. And, like, my, my, I remember my mom sitting there and being like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, like, my dad's had, like, a second wife and, like, girlfriends and, like, whoever's celebrating the holidays with will always make them sit and watch the movie with us. And every single other person is like, what is happening? Because both my dad and I actually look alike. And then we're just all, like, sitting there bopping to the fucking Muppets Christmas. And, like... I it's just don't imagine this though. Yeah, but it's just the most like magical like father daughter moment that we have every single year. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really okay, really I can special. See, I can see why. Yeah. Now. now now I get it. Yeah. <laughs> like and it's because it's not the best made movie, but like I'm just getting not a fan of Muppets. I'm and sorry. yeah, there's like literally I don't like Muppets movies, but those but, like are the, you like that because of the man. Yeah, but that. But yeah, and um, I love. Um, Muppets Treasure Island. I think that's I don't a think great I've ever seen movie. That. I've never seen. We that. will have to watch it one day. I know you don't like Muppets, but I mean, we'll have I don't, to watch it. I, you know, I, I can still watch it. Like yeah. I'm not gonna sit there and go Ugh, the whole time. It's I used to weird. love that movie as a kid. Yeah, there, there are there aren't a lot of movies that I wouldn't sit and watch at least once. Yeah, for the most part, except possibly I don't want to watch The Notebook. I just don't want to do it. I really don't feel like it. Yeah. Just so you know, that's not a thing. I still haven't seen it, and I don't want to. Yeah. So don't. Suggest it, please. Just yeah. Um, anyway, um, did you write any of the Christmas movies you hate? 
I don't know if I because I, I did put, I put the Muppets Christmas Carol there, but my actual my the movie Christmas movie I actually hate probably the most uh-huh. um, is the Bishop's Wife. I don't know if you've ever never seen, seen that. It. It's, no. it's pretty old. It's old to the point where it's like the gender roles in it are really fucked up. Oh. Um, and it's very religious too. Oh. Yeah, it was called the Bishop's Wife. <laughs> yeah. And basically, the Bishop's Wife falls in love with uh, the ethereal Christmas spirit that comes to that oh. like, the Bishop calls. He's an angel. Okay. Like, it's basically, I'm listening. Spirit. I it, it's weird. Like he so so the bishop like calls down this angel and the angel comes, and and the bishop's wife ends up falling in love with him and I, it's weird honestly and it's kind that of old sounds weird and I and don't like it on the, and it's you know it's based around a church and I'm just like this isn't I'm sorry it's not my thing and I don't understand the Christmas part of this yeah <laughs> so yes yeah, so that's probably my least favorite um I have Muppets Christmas Carol on there just because uh, out of all Christmas movies I've probably watched that the least. Yeah. Jack Frost because of the freaky yeah. ass snowman. And I also put Deck the Halls because that's one that I... It was so... It was I also really I actually weird. don't think I've ever watched it. The Danny DeVito? Yeah. I don't like Danny DeVito. Well, you would not like this movie at all. Uh-uh. Especially if you don't like him. Um, yeah, it's basically guys fighting over who's the most Christmas spirity. The fuck? I, th- I mean, that's the best way to describe it, honestly. And you can kind of imagine it in a Danny DeVito movie, them, like, kind fighting of. over it. But, like, it doesn't instill a sense of Christmas spirit in me, you know? Yeah. I watch it, and it's Danny DeVito. And, like, I, I'm cool with Danny DeVito in a lot of different movies. Like, yeah. he fits the character for a lot of different things. But in a Christmas movie? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could see him as a Scrooge. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not the same kind of Scrooge. Like, he's just got a really harsh... New York ish side yeah. of him, and I'm just honestly, I'm not into it. I'm just not into it. Um, um so there's that was not a movie I really. There's enjoyed. one Christmas movie, and it's like something like Mr. McGee's something. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. And about. I don't like it. Um, I watched it. I forced myself to watch it once, and I I'm was not like, sure I like what it. I think about it. Honestly, I'm like so, trying to think. Yeah, of so I've seen movies it once. I don't want to watch. Yeah, no, there again, there were a few that I'm like, I just put on my my hate list because yeah. like they're the, my least favorite. Yeah. Certainly The Bishop's Wife I'm not watching ever again. And yeah. the funny thing is I actually almost put It's a Wonderful Life down here as one of my least favorites. Yeah. Because, I, again, I watch it. It's kind of old time. It's just not actually one of my favorite Christmas movies. It does no. make you feel kind of Christmas spirity. So I'll give mm-hmm. it that. Um, but that's about it. <laughs> gotcha. Um, but yeah. Do we want to move on to checking out a Christmas movie bracket? A little yeah, bit. we might as well. Let's might just make well. this a long one because I'm having fun. Yeah, no, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. And it'll be fun because I think we're going to have a lot of differences in this. Yeah. I actually think so. Um, All but right. again, I'm not against any choices you make. Yeah. Because honestly, a lot of these are, are kind of hard. Yeah. Um. So we probably have a difference. The, fir- cause the yeah, fir- very first one because I know you love Scrooge. It's classic, kind of Christmassy, modern faves, and animated. So the first one is, in. we'll do classics first. So Home Alone versus Scrooge. I have Scrooge. I'm sure you did. I put Home Alone. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that makes it, because you, as you already know, yeah. that's my second favorite movie, so it, obviously yeah. it's, it's up there. Next is The Santa Claus versus Miracle on 34th. I ended up putting Miracle, and I'm sure you put The Santa Claus. I put The Santa I Claus. I favorites, but yeah, I had Miracle on 34th, because that is one of my, I really like that movie. Yeah, and then I have A Christmas Story versus It's a Wonderful Life. I Christmas Story. Christmas Story. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, A Christmas Story. Um, uh, Christmas Vacation versus Jingle All the Way. I've only seen Christmas Vacation. I've never seen Jingle All the Way. I don't know what that one's about. Neither do I. So, so I Christmas. Put, I put Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not sure if that would win out against most of the things, but yeah, I, that's the only one I knew. So. And so I have um, now, kind of Christmassy. Uh, Scrooge versus the Santa Claus, and the Santa oh, Claus won. Beautiful thing. I had a uh, Home Alone versus Miracle, and I had Home Alone win. Mm-hmm. Um, a Christmas Story versus Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story. Christmas Story. I'm, a, I'm the same there. So then I had the Christmas, or Santa Claus, um, the Santa Claus versus A Christmas Story and A Christmas Story one for me. Yeah, I had um, Home Alone versus A Christmas Story and I had Home, Home Alone win, as you probably Yeah. Know. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's classics. Um, next is Die Hard versus Home Alone 3. I had Home Alone 3. Um, I had Die Hard versus Home Alone 3 and I actually put Die Hard. Okay. Um, so Home Alone 3 is where I kind of drop off the yeah. Home Alone train a little bit. Um, at least I'm pretty sure, because I thought, I think Home Alone 2 is the, the New York one. Yeah. But even so, um, Die Hard was a, a, a franchise that I was really into for a while. Okay. And I used to love the Die Hard movies. They're not really Christmassy. 
Mm-hmm. It's very much an action movie. Gotcha. It's just See, an action movie. and I've movie. never seen it. So. It's in a building. He did a lot of guns and gore and all that so shit. So not my like, Probably not your type, but no. I freaking love Die Hard. Yeah. Um, so Die Hard won that for me. Yeah. Uh, especially the first one. And honestly, I like uh, Live Free or Die Hard was the fourth movie in that franchise, and I like that one a lot. That's actually the first one I saw, and then I got into the franchise. Okay. Just so you know. And then Rock, it's Rocky Six, right? Four. Four? Yeah. Versus Edward, Fucking yeah. No, it was fourth Rocky, and I have seen that Rocky. Fourth like, Rocky versus Rocky. Edward Scissorhands. Edward and Scissorhands. Edward, yeah. Yeah. No, we, we knew that one had to win. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Yes, yes, I was yes. never a huge Rocky fan. My brother loved the Rocky movies. My mom liked the Rocky movies. <laughs> she, when I was five, we went to the um, museum, the Philadelphia really? Art Museum, with it was me, her, and my grandfather, and she made me run up the fucking stairs. And there's a lot of stairs, one thing. Yeah. And two, I was five and already fat, so I was not here for it. Mm-hmm. And three, I had never seen Rocky. So <laughs> basically, my mom was just telling me to run upstairs and then put my arms in the air. And I was just like, why? This is dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's um, amazing. So I kind of had like a vendetta against Rocky just because like no, I had yeah, to run. He was a, it, Rocky was interesting. <laughs> it's, very, it's a very, I don't know, it's a very my brother movie. Yeah. That's what it was. It was my brother's movie. Um, and then Batman Returns versus Lethal Weapon. I put Batman Returns. 100%. Um, it's one of my favorites. It is actually great. I lo- Poison Ivy's My Spirit Animal. Yeah. Like, Although I I did like Lethal Weapon, but like, it, that's when I was thinking Christmas movies too. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that and like, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> no, yeah. Freeze. Batman, Batman Returns <laughs> is actually a great fucking movie. Yeah, um, I love that movie. Um, and then Gremlins versus Reindeer Games. Never seen Reindeer Games. Same. So but I, I have won. heard of it. Yeah, so Gremlins won. Um, but Gremlins kind of would have won for me probably anyway because yeah. I do like Gremlins. Um, also, I never think of Gremlins as a Christmas movie. I always forget that it's kind of kind of Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> I forget that it takes place around the Christmas time. Yeah. Like, like oh, I have it right. in my Halloween section. Yeah, it's it's definitely a Halloween thing. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I guess not surprised. There's a lot of movies on here that like there could have been a lot more movies on yeah. here. Yeah. But, like, things like Krampus, I kind of expected to see. Oh, movie yeah. Stuff, yeah, this is just a random one I got off the it's internet. Fine. So, um, But, yeah, anyway, so I had uh, Die Hard versus Edward Scissorhands, and I had actually Die Hard win. Wow. I, I know, and I know it's, yeah, no. Because um, in the end, I was, again, Die Hard. Was Makes more, sense. It was honestly one of the first franchises I was actually really into. Okay. Um, so that is a special place in my heart. Put that first. In yeah. terms of Christmas movies, probably would have put Edward Scissorhands. Mm-hmm. Um, but just as a movie. Yeah, hard. no, that makes sense. Um, mine was Home Alone three versus Edward, and Edward won. Yeah, because I, I knew that was gonna yes. be a weird one. I'm just like, but yeah, it's Edward. also Tim Burton, and Tim Burton is like my hero. Tim Burton movies do kind of freak me out, but like they do. But as the like he, him, and M Night are my two yeah. favorite directors. Well, no, I'm not gonna say the same about M Night, but <laughs> I love I know you. you. Do I know you do? Um, he's got some interesting things, and he has certainly had some great successes. He takes yeah. risks, so I'm gonna appreciate him. For yeah. That. Yeah. Um, anyway, I had, I had Batman Returns versus Gremlins, and I had yep. Gremlins win. I had Batman Returns win. Mm-hmm. I love Batman Returns. No, I just, um, I think I just, I was, I watched Gremlins more as a whole. Okay. Um, to me, my cousin and I have a really, like, inside yeah. joke about Gremlins, and we call it the Goober movie, um, and that has a whole nother term, yeah. and I won't get into it, so, like, but, like, Goober. <laughs> but, I'm uh, a Goober, so that's what yeah. I'm going to go. Um, um, yeah. But Batman Returns for That's me. Like, I mean. So and then I had Die Hard versus Gremlins, and I actually had Gremlins win that one. Okay. Um. So Gremlins, and that one I kind of chose based on Christmassy. Okay. Things. Um. Because to be honest, they're both kind of on a same, uh, on similar veins to me. So I was like, which one feels more Christmassy, Gremlins? Yeah. So to be honest, that's the only reason why. That's I <laughs> kind of how it went for me for Edward Scissorhands versus Batman Returns. Edward Scissorhands felt more Christmassy. Christmassy yeah. So, so then I was like, oh, I like both of them. Well, then this one's more Christmassy because we're in a Christmas bracket. So. Exactly. <laughs> right. um, so next we have Modern Faves. And then, so it is Elf versus Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. I've never ever. seen Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. I heard of it. And I don't think I ever would watch it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would. It sounds like a, a pretty I, bad movie, honestly. Yeah, um, I don't do Grumpy so. Cat. Um, I like Grumpy Cat, but like I, the Grumpy Cat like merch and all that other all the franchise. I'm like, why? Yeah. Um, but Elf obviously won for me anyway. Yeah, Elf's my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, Elf won. So. Love Actually versus Bad Santa. I did have Love Actually beat that one. Now that I've seen Love Actually, yeah. Um, I don't really like Bad Santa that no, much. No, it's okay. It's one of those ones that tries to be funny, but yeah, kind of really isn't. Yeah, like Bad Grandpa. 
Yeah. It's like kind of on that vein where it's like you're trying way too hard to yeah. be like crude and funny. Yeah. Anyway. It's yeah. not the best. So we have the holiday versus the ref. I don't think I've ever seen the ref. I don't think I have either. So I put the holiday. I like which the I've holiday. Seen once. Yeah. I've seen once. I'm not really honestly sure about it, but. Like, yeah. Um, Home, Home Alone 2 versus Fred, Fred Claus. Claus. I did put Fred Claus above that one. Yeah. Um, because in the end, like. Fred Claus yeah, is awesome. Fred, Fred Claus wins. <laughs> um, so then that gave me Elf versus Love, actually. And we, which you also have. And I figure Elf win for you. Love actually won for me. Damn it. I know. <laughs> I know. But I know. I know. Um, and then The Holiday versus Fred Claus and Fred Claus won. Yeah, I had Fred Claus win as well. Because mm-hmm. I don't really know too much about The Holiday either. But mm-hmm. also Fred Claus is a good movie. Yeah. Um, and then I had the elf, ver- elf versus Fred Claus, and as you know, Elf wins for me. So yeah. Elf wins um, for me, section. Love Actually versus Fred Claus, and Love Actually won. Yeah. So. I know you like that one. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're on to the animated ones. This was an animated. interesting one, actually. Yeah. Um, so I had ha- How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Polar Express, and that one pained me because I love the Polar Express, too, but mm-hmm. How the Grinch Stole Christmas still wins for me. Yeah. Um, so I put that one. Oh, wait, no. You put the Polar Express. I put the Polar Express. Yeah, I know. You said that that was one of your favorites. You, um, you, forgot, you forgot the Grinch on your list. I did. So I think... And I think, because um, for me, as it's animated, I believe it's the first. It's not yeah. like, yeah. I still so, have that winning. <laughs> yeah. When I meant, when I say the Grinch still Christmas, I mean the whole shebang. So. Okay. For me, I isolated it as like to the, just the, the cartoon. <laughs> Yeah. Um. And not Jim. No, but I mean, all, like in terms so. of when I said my favorites, like oh. I meant the whole shebang. Gotcha, like, gotcha, I like gotcha. The the animated movie, the Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. And no, that makes sense. All of that's put together. Um, so yeah, the animated one I still absolutely love. I yeah. No, I love it. Um. The but Polar for me, Express. I love the Polar Express over the animated yeah. version. Yeah. I'm so. Fan. So then we had Charlie Brown Christmas and Frosty the Snowman, and as you know, I put Frosty the Snowman because that was above it. Um, I put Frosty the Snowman, but I'm going to take that back, and I'm going to change it to Charlie. Um, It doesn't change anything farther down on my list, Yeah. um, but I think Charlie Brown would beat Frosty in my brain. No, for me, it was Frosty, and honestly, Mm -hmm. it was really close, but like Frosty has more... I don't know. Meaning. Yeah, meaning for you. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas and a Muppet Christmas Carol. As you know, I picked Nightmare Before Christmas. And because... I choose Muppets yeah, because Muppets. I know. That was a favorite. Yep. Um, and then we have Rudolph, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Eight, Eight Crazy, Crazy Nights. Nights. And I actually put Rudolph. I did like mm-hmm. Eight Crazy Nights and I considered putting it on my list, but mm-hmm. then it was in my kind of, it was more my honorable mentions. Yeah. Um, but I think I put Rudolph the Claymation. Yeah. Okay. I love Rudolph the Claymation, but I had to pick Eight yeah, Crazy Nights. So, um, that put Polar Express versus now Charlie Brown Christmas, um, and Polar Express still wins for me. I had Grinch versus Frosty, and Grinch won. Um, and then Muppets Christmas Carol versus Eight Crazy Nights and Muppets. Yeah. And I had Nightmare for Christmas versus Rudolph, and I had, uh, Rudolph win. Okay. Um, um so then I... for me, Nightmare for Christmas is almost more of a ho- it, it's It bridges it, but, like... It's, yeah, yeah. No, it's kind of funny because Nightmare Before Christmas, I have a hard time thinking of as a Christmas movie. Same. And I know it kind of is, but it's not. And it's also kind of not a Halloween movie either. It's really yeah. right in between. But like, in the it's end, a Thanksgiving yeah. movie. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the way to put it. It's a Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Um. So then, then I had Polar Express versus Muppets, and Muppets had to win for me. Yeah, I saw that coming. And yeah. I had Grinch versus Rudolph, and I had the Grinch. Okay. Makes sense. I, yeah, I value that. So I actually um, had my, in my top four, I had my top three for my list. In it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it actually I kind worked of, out quite, yeah. It actually worked out quite nicely. I didn't realize that my top three were in different sections. That was kind of, that was kind of nice for me. Yeah, I mean, because it was Muppets, Eight Crazy Nights, Christmas Story, Love Actually, so minus Eight Crazy Nights, like, it's my top four. If they put, like, so. Trading Places and Kind of Christmassy, I might have put, then, then it would have yeah. ended up being my top four, which would have been really cool, but, yeah. like, nah. Um, so for me, it was a Christmas story, um, versus Edward Scissorhands and a Christmas story one. Okay. I had a Home Alone versus Gremlins and Home Alone one. Yeah. And then the other side was Love Actually versus Muppets and Muppets. Muppets Yep. I had a Elf versus Grinch and Elf one. Yep. So I ended up literally with my top two as my top two. So Home Alone versus Elf and Elf won, obviously. I mean, yeah, I already had, know this. So. I had a Christmas story versus Muppets and Muppets win. So, um, I yeah. Guess, yeah, I guess that ends up the, the whole movie discussion. Uh, what Christmas movies do you guys like? Like, share with us what you thought about this. And if we can, yeah. well, I'll try to remember to link the bracket and stuff. 
Yeah, I can. just found it on Google. Yeah, honestly, you can Google one. You, or you could just do it with us. I don't know. If I remember, um, I'll link it. If I don't, sorry. Sucks. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> let us know what you think about Christmas movies and, like, what your favorite one is. Because, and why? Like, no, it's always interesting the why. Because yeah. some people's favorite Christmas movies are not other people's favorites. For, like, a lot Random of Random ass fucking it's reasons. It's a lot of personal reasons. Some yeah. of them it's just like, oh, it's just funny. And some of them it's like, oh, it's a classic. And then some of them it's like, it has personal meaning to me. Yeah. So. No, so yeah, I'd be really interested to see what you guys think. Yeah, um, so definitely comment your favorite Christmas movie. And movies. also let me know what is the one Christmas movie you hate. Because that was really hard for that me to figure out. That was really hard. So if you have a Christmas movie you actually hate, then like, let us know. Let us know. I'm sure some people have opinions on that. I'm just not a yeah. Christmas movie hater. Yeah. Except The Bishop's Wife and a little bit of Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching Jack Frost tonight. No, I am not. <laughs> Please. I can't do that. That's a nightmare. I have to watch it during the day. It is the day. Well, but you said tonight. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. But anyway. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe. We're on Anchor. Follow us on Anchor. And, follow us on other things. And follow us on YouTube, by on the way. On YouTube. Like, you can see our beautiful faces. We are wearing Christmassy stuff. I have a Santa hat on. We have Don't tell them all the secrets. What? So they have to go see us in person. Oh, yeah. Well, and YouTube. And then there's more. <laughs> um, also, our social media. Go check out our Instagram. Oh, yeah. We're we going to be having some cool-ass, bomb-ass photos on there. That even we though we already do. Go like them. Um, <laughs> follow us free. Yes. Um, anyway. Anyway, yeah. Have Bye. a good day. Bye. <laughs> we need to come up with that. Christmas!